Yeah, shellthingsentry.com. We've got patient CC in the chair, just doing a continuation of uh, his ortho treatment. We're almost completed. What we're doing right now is we're retracting the anterior four, uh, the anterior segment, retracting with these nitai coils. And you can see that um, what we've been mainly looking at comparing from appointment to appointment is the amount of wire that comes out the distal tubes. Let's see, where's a good way? We measure the amount of wire that comes out of the distal tubes on the uh, molars, and it's sort of going left, a little bit more uh, retraction on the left side, one appointment, then more on the right. So I think this time we were at two, you know, two millimeters on the left and 1.5 millimeters on the right. So we're also we're comparing that with the amount of overjet that we have. And we're just about, just about there, just about closed. And he said first for the first time in. First time ever. Mm -hmm. First time ever he's contacting his canines. So it was a, a unique feeling. And so what we've done is you can see we're just continuing down. We're going to use the same nitite coils. We have a TMA wire uh, on the maxilla. And what we have is step up bends. We, we intruded just a little bit. And as we retracted to maintain the proper, uh, maintain the proper overbite. So we're going to place that last nitite coil spring on his left side. So one of the key things is use um, use the little skinny ones versus the uh, the huge ones. Oh, wait a sec. Are they, are they not the same? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, use the little, use the even smaller ones. I was expecting the big ones. Grab the loop. Make sure you try it. So it fits. Because if you don't, if you grab the too much and there's no lumen, it won't fit. And we're going to place this all the way back onto the t the hook, the molar hook, and bring it forward to the canine. Place it there, and that's it. So there you have. We're going to continue retracting the anterior segment. Cheers.